everybody, this is not a spring chick, and I don't know about you. Did you catch a State of the Union address? Well, a lot of Americans probably don't, but it was the greatest speech in history, equaled only by President Obama's previous State of the Union addresses. And Rubio, well, is he one of you? Well, it seems like the rebuttal is, well, let's just put it this way. It seems to be like an audition for the next presidential candidate. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans, again. Well, you'd have believed it from the press last night. It was the worst appearance ever. They said they've never, they've, they've seen far, uh, they, they seldom have they seen such a bad appearance as Rubio did, that his rebuttal was weak, that the president just crushed him, that, um, and, and then, unfortunately, why the Steve Cook was there, even Cook is on the way out over at Apple, everybody knows it, but he was there in order to neg and to neg to basically to nullify Bill Gates and Microsoft and their Bing, basically now having a new service that can give you instantaneous reviews of speeches and of public events. Mm -hmm. It seems like there was only one point in the entire speech last night that anybody approved of. It was the only time the Republicans did applaud. What was when that? He talked, when the president said simply that his children should never have been killed. That was the only point that went above negative in an hour and five minute speech. The only point? The only point that didn't, was it negative. Oh! That, I mean, and this is, they said the Democrat, if they hadn't have been uh, polling, you know, among equality, he had died. I mean, it was, they said it was, it was, uh, he said, what are the people, but some of the responses were, if you've seen last year's, or the year before that, or his first one, or the second one, you saw last night's again, except for one major difference, mm -hmm. more spending. Mm -hmm. We've got to do all that. But also, we want to be partners with business. But this isn't going to be the taxpayer footing a bill. We want businesses to join with us, mm -hmm. which, and then he tells us, well, we're going, to hit, we're going to raise the minimum wage, which is a means that uh, union contracts all have a bill in, in it. If you raise minimum wage, they get like twice whatever you're raising it. So it means the new contracts that they sign become nullified and instead of getting, the, uh, the, what they would be getting would be um, five plus an hour in yeah. salary, which would basically mean they're going to lay off more union people, folks. And Obama went far to the left and did not pivot back to the center, as was expected by many. Nobody understands. I don't, I mean, first of all, he, they're going to have to get it through their head. He is to the left of the Democratic Party. Uh, where anybody, I, I, I'm listening in amazement where, you know, well, he was left center last night, which is unusual for him. They're trying to find out, you know, like when... It's like, where have you been for the last four years? They're, they're, they're going, what? He said, where did he move toward the center? Well, he said populist things. Uh, let's see. He's going to raise taxes again, and then he has to raise taxes again, and he's all... And, and, and that he, you get, he, you get to keep your health care system if you like it, which everybody knows you're not. Mm -hmm. We're going to hire more union workers if the unions are losing their clout. We're going to hire more teachers. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to spend a hundred billion dollars on on green energy. We're going to set up a trust fund. By the federal government's going to set up a trust fund paid for by the oil companies to find uh, green energy. Uh, all that you know, basically. Like uh, what Rubio did say, which they said, which is like um, they said like the Mark Twain thing, that the president of the United States seemed to have an obsession with taxation. So <laughs> why don't you try to be on camera? I know. And Obama is to face a tough crowd in the State of the Union address. Yeah, all the Republicans basically he got okay, here's a good one. That when he's saying the wealthy aren't paying their fair share, the Democrats all jumped. The the businesses have to ha pay their fair share. They jumped. We're going to have to have gun control. And that's the Democrat didn't jump. Oh, they didn't? Ooh, the Democrats, the way it works is the Democrats have to hold nine seats in red states that basically love their guns. And all of them that they're trying to hold are members of the NRA. <laughs> so they said there's not a chance in this universe that they're going to get the, the things done, which I still keep telling people the problem. I, I was taught by my family that if you can't do it with one shot, don't do it. Mm -hmm. So I don't see the big, the big deal behind that. Uh, what we're doing, we're going to get you, actually what we're doing, we're going to get a single shot 
gun, and we're going to show you what you can do with a single shot gun. I can load I can load what is a full magazine into a single shot gun in a minute, which is about what these people are using to shoot people with. So we're going to show you that demonstration of shooting range soon. And Boy Scouts delay decision on admitting gays. Uh, yeah, because they, uh, first of all, they're more or less, the Boy Scouts is uh, basically in a religious organization. They do not have to bend to the president's demands no matter what. I mean, as it is, they had a, a person, well, the president of the United States says that we have rights and we can do whatever we want to do. So they basically fired a guy for making, for hitting on somebody at a restaurant that he thought was gay. The person didn't like that. They, uh, so they said that you don't have right, okay, if you get fired for uh, hitting on a woman in a restaurant, you get fired. So if you're going to hit on a guy in a restaurant, you're going to be just as fired. So he's going to take it. He's appealing to the Justice Department to overrule the firing, which isn't going to happen, folks. Act of God, lightning strikes St. Peter's after Pope announces resignation. I know. You know when lightning last Oh, did it really? Hit, when, you know when lightning last hit St. Peter's? When? When the last pope resigned. Oh, really? 600 years ago, lightning struck the Tower of St. Peter's. They said that uh, they had sort of signal somebody it's, was unhappy. But uh, yeah. you have to understand, he said that I am not capable of handling the, the legal problems, and they need somebody younger that is able to stand uh, the, the problem. Because remember, they called him, used to call him Ratsy the Nazi. I, this yeah. guy should never have been Pope, folks, but they put him in because they needed a consensus person. And he was a good PR person, spoke a zillion languages. Now, they're, they're getting ready for the battle. Asia wants a Pope, Latin America wants a Pope, and the Muslim Empire wants a Pope. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, it looks like you're not going to get a Pope that anybody wants this time, no matter what. Other than the fact, you'll probably be young and a lawyer. Uh, yeah, probably because they have a lot of legal battles, A lot right? of legal battles, which they shouldn't be having because uh, they would simply say that we're not responsible. The church is not responsible for what they did in this parish. Just go after them and put them behind bars. Just, yeah. You put, every, you put like Archbishop Mahoney behind, or Cardinal Mahoney in a jail cell, you put the one in New York in a jail cell. They're the ones that did it. They were not following papal rules. They were following, well, we don't want to be caught rules. Mm-hmm. And Rubio criticizes Obama's tax exception. That's what they said. They love it. They said it was Mark or Twainian. Obsession. In the Mark Twainian. Mark Twainian. They said that Mark Twain would have said something like it. We have a president that seems to have an unnatural exception about taxes. Mm. So, which is you know, which is the, what they said it was a good statement. That will be his thing. That they'll simply rephrase it. That the Democrats seem to have an unnatural obsession with raising taxes on everyone but themselves. They, they basically fix it so they can't be hit by the taxes, and they leave things in. There's always enough deductions for their people. Mm. And two Great Lakes hit lowest water level on record. The problem is that's on record. Uh, remember, here's the problem is the Great Lakes are no longer natural. They have been, they have been put in locks for so long that the water has been main, maintained artificially high. So what happens is is when you don't get as much rain in Canada as you normally would. And this is coming from Canada, folks, not the United States. The water level goes down. Remember, it was 16 miles on the Erie Canal. That's off the Great Lakes. And two scouting families, opposite views on gay ban. Yeah, uh, because uh, it's the way it works, because there's always going to be two sides. Most of the people that are unhappy with his gay nonsense happen to be gay. Because oh, really? they were perfectly happy what, uh, I mean, like I keep telling people, I mean, I knew a guy, uh, you know, I, I've known a lot of gay people. When I've been playing football, I used to have a gang guy, used to put me on my rear all the time. I was, a, I punted, folks, and I was a receiver. I had a shirt, you know, red shirt, don't hit the guy. And he'd say, boy, you need to learn, know what it's like. This big guy. And then also another one in my neighborhood was an actor for like 50 years. He was a school, he was a the scout master, he did everything, and then they did the gay rights stuff. Parents do not want that guy anywhere near their kids. They knew he was gay before, but they're afraid of the people he's associating with now. Mm. And that's the problem. He, they blew his career. They, 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 you know, he's no longer a scout master, no longer a baseball coach. He's, he's my age. And he basically hates these people for you know, doing what they're doing because they, he, 
Nobody he even cared. Though he was fine. Nobody this cared. This is Hollywood, for Christ's sake. Nobody cared until they started the gay rights movement. There was no one cared. You were gay act. You knew the guys were gay. You didn't care because they were good at what they did. And Chris Brown crashed his car on Eve of Grammy Awards. I love that one. I mean, this guy is totally. If you can do things wrong, he does it wrong. But he makes so much money. Okay, what happens is if they're gonna to toss him in jail again. He'll just flee the country this time because he can afford to lose a million dollars in bond. Mm -hmm. And Grammy surprised Mumford and Sons takes album of the year. Yeah, they thought they thought that other companies like Sony were easily gonna do it. They no one under the like, who the hell is okay, what happened is I don't know, but they got a Johnny Depp. <laughs> nobody knows who about they them. are, but Johnny Depp played with them, I guess that's Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, I always think she's getting ready to snort. Yeah, this is another thing. Okay, uh, simply whatever you're doing, save it again because it may never have saved the first time. <laughs> uh, you know, that's a technology. I know, I sat there and gave you stuff all right. <laughs>